Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I've been waiting months and months and months and months to have Joanna Weeb, who's one of the legends of copywriting and direct response marketing. Hey, Joanna. Hey. She is founder of Copy Hackers, which helps people write more persuasive, believable, and usable copy to boost website and email conversion rates, which everyone wants. She's written, you know, okay, and also I want to mention this, their copy hacker bundles have been consumed by over 14,000 startups and they've been featured on Kissmetrics, Visual Website Optimizer, Copy Blogger, and many more. She's written crazy converting copy for some of the biggest names in online marketing like Neil Patel and been invited to speak at events like Inbound, Pro Blogger, among others. And even tech businesses like Shopify, Living Social, Unbounce, and Asana refer to her books and courses for copy guidance. And to top it all off, Mind Valley's Vishen Lakhani calls her one of the world's greatest copywriters alongside Frank Kern and the late, great Gene Schwartz. Joanna, thanks for joining me. Wow, I sound kind of awesome when you put you it like that. You do sound awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You know, because it's Inspired Insider, and I mean, there's so much I wanted to ask you, but um, uh, we have limited time. So I wanted to ask you a low point hmm. and how you push through that low point. <sighs> and I promise um, I'll end with something upper, but I want to get, you know, get that um, what motivates you and how you push through the low point. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely, you know, there are a lot of, a lot of things, right? But I think that, you know, we talked about my dad early on, and um, uh, <sighs> emotions, <laughs> emotions raging. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but he, when he died, he died of um, brain cancer, of brain. He had a brain tumor huh. um, at 51, and he'd been a teacher for like eight years or something he'd gone back to school and he'd had like this brief period of time but you know in the scheme of things it's a brief very very brief period of time yeah. it seems um for what he should have what you know you feel he should have had right like he did all this work he like raised five kids on his own essentially yeah. uh, doesn't the man deserve more so that was like a low point for me but it was one of those you know major points right like a shift right it made me change everything it made me feel different about myself and what I wanted um what we should do and you know everybody has that when someone close to them dies but this idea of having such limited time yeah. and wanting to do something good with it um and and that that can change at every point too right but that was that was low and I think that's a probably an interesting place or a good place to start a different sort of life so that was a that was a low point um but getting past it you know it's helped to put things in perspective right a lot of things in perspective and yeah. um and there's this um there's a sketch i'm sure you've seen it everybody has seen it um but it it hits me for some reason um i get these you know for what pushes me to move forward and get past lows um is this idea that you're like this far away from that breakthrough that you're looking for, right? And I feel that I've had a lot of breakthroughs, thankfully, at Copy Hackers, um, the startup community. If you're like not sure what world to work with, work with startups because they're so, um, the whole community is so, it, it's accepting. It allows everybody in. As long as you can just like do it, it's like very receptive to you like joining the team. Um, but you know, I, there's a sketch. Um, that is this these two miners have you seen it mm -hmm, these yeah. two miners right and there's one guy he turns away and he's got his pickaxe over his thing and he's been tunneling and now he's done because he didn't get there and the guy below him is still tunneling away and you can see on both of them they've both got this like the jewels just right. on the other They're side like inches from the jewels yes exactly yeah. right so you're like just keep just keep kind of going and it's so cheesy some things will stick with people right mm. and that just happens to be something that sticks with me so that's kind of an image i keep in mind when i have to you know push through and it's like oh is it, is it you know all of those things right is it worth it is you know is this really if i were to die tomorrow is this the thing i'd want to die doing right those yeah. lower points yeah. which what can you really say yes to right those kind of like 
bathing in cheesecake or something. Like, yeah, okay, I could die doing that. I don't know. That's going to be the title of this interview is bathing with cheesecake. No. Um, so last question. What's been one of your proudest accomplishments? Uh, yeah. Um, one of the coolest things for me, it makes me the proudest. Um, mm. You know, when people that you really admire reach out to you, right? And I've been thankful to to get that, um, grateful to get that and blessed with that. I had actually, um, so I was working at Intuit, right? And you feel like you're just like part of like, you're a cog, right? You're doing stuff. Nobody gives a damn about copywriting. You know, you kind of hate everything. <laughs> and you go out on your own. And as you're doing that, you're reading all these people like Darren Rose at Pro Blogger and, you know, Brian Clark at Copy Blogger, things like that. And everybody else, right? In the whole, in all of this copywriting space that you're like reading, right? Um, I was going to say something else and I decided not to. Um, and so I was about a year and a half into Copy Hackers and I had written this guest post on Kiss Metrics about um, pricing, how to make your, your product look like a total steal. Um, I think it was called a total steal or something like that in the URL. Um, and so it was this like epic post, right? Nine ways. You only all write this. epic posts. Right? Yeah. You got it, right? Um, and so I posted it, blah, blah, blah. It's great. And then um, a couple weeks, weeks later, I get this email in my inbox and it's from Brian Clark. And I'm like, okay, I guess it's just, you know, it's, but it's not in my promotions tab. It's over in my like main part of Gmail, like, the, like where a direct message comes to you. Um, and he was saying how much he loved the post and do I want to speak at his copy blogger authority intensive? Wow. And I was like, what is Brian Clark doing reaching out to me? This is amazing, right? This is so cool. So that was like, you know, and then, and since then we've actually developed a, a nice little relationship, which is like even more stunning to me, right? Like I'm always like, like who, what? How did this even happen? And then I got to meet Darren Rouse through him, and then Darren invited me to do some stuff with him. So you know, this these these moments um, that I'm very proud of that I wouldn't have expected to have happen when I was like adding to it and trying to get people to like change copy and worry about copy and think about copy and feeling like nobody was listening and. So that's definitely been one of my proudest accomplishments. So Joanna, thank you so much. I just want you to take a second, tell people where they can find out more, anything that you're working on lately that they should check out. Sure. Um, they can find me at um, on Twitter at Copy Hackers. That's what I am. With an S. The poor co at Copy Hacker guy is always like, it's not me you want, it's her. Um, and so it's at copy hackers, um, and then online copyhackers.com. Um, you can send me emails through the contact form and it'll go really great to me. Right. So, um, that's where, that's where I'm really at, um, Twitter and on my, yeah. on my website. Fantastic. There's a Joanna. blog you should read too. It's definitely, definitely a blog you should read. Joanna, I want to be the first one to thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you. It's been great. It was yeah. really nice talking to you. Thanks you so too. much. Thank you, Joanna.